Welcome to Wednesday, August 14th, 2024, your day with a podcast brought to you by ConverseCountyTourism.com. Beautiful landscapes, historic sites, and unique downtowns await visitors to Douglas and Glen Rock. Plan your visit at ConverseCountyTourism.com. Well, folks, the deeper moisture, which over the last few days, really going back to the weekend, is starting to pull off to the east. So we're going to see the real heavy rain threat more towards the Dakotas, central and eastern Nebraska. However, while the deeper monsoon moisture will be there and the heavy rain threat the highest there, elsewhere, both sides of the Continental Divide, there still will be afternoon and evening thunderstorms, but the heavy rain risk is going to be less as that deeper moisture moves east. Now, thunderstorm activity pulls back Thursday through Sunday. It doesn't mean we won't have thunderstorms. It's just that there won't be as many compared to where we've been lately. And there are two days, Friday and Sunday, especially along and east of the divide, where thunderstorm activity will kind of pick up again. I think the lowest activity will be Thursday and Saturday. Then another little push of moisture comes in Monday and Tuesday of next week. So thunderstorms Monday and Tuesday pick up again. But by the middle to the end of next week, we go into a drier, warmer pattern. And when you look at the calendar, by the end of next week, we're going to be around August 22nd, 23rd, 24th, right around that time frame where it naturally starts to get a little bit harder to get the deeper monsoon moisture up here. So hopefully over the next week, we'll have more opportunities to put rain in the rain gauge. There you go, a good shot in western and southwestern Wyoming that has enjoyed some much needed rain here over the last couple of days near Cokeville. This was on Monday, also found out it rained again on Tuesday in some of those areas. Now this is where the precipitable water today will be the most widespread and deepest, right there. So this area here today was here yesterday and the day before there. So you can see it's migrating eastward, but very slowly. So gully washer, heavy rain type activity there, but notice the white and the green still hangs back from Salt Lake City to Cheyenne, up to Boise, into the Montana region. So there's still gonna be showers and thunderstorms. This drier air though, in the deserts, is gonna to start to work its way in. That's why on Thursday, the activity will drop off. So this is where we're gonna be tomorrow and today, kind of seeing the shiftward east of the range, of the front range, east of the divide. Notice today, Southern Utah, Southwest Colorado, the Four Corners area, kind of the first area that has been very active to see things really pull back. But Northern Colorado, Wyoming, Eastern Idaho, Montana, then there's the heavier thunderstorm risk in the Dakotas, down in the Kansas and the Panhandles. And this is where the risk of strong thunderstorms will be today. So still back across a large part of Wyoming and Northern Colorado, we have the dark green. So it's still gonna be an active day today. Then as we get into Thursday, this is by 3 p.m. Thursday, the drier air spreads out eastward a little bit more, the drier air a little bit more prevalent, the deeper moisture continues to head off to the east, and there's your thunderstorms Thursday. They really pull back, but back into Boise, eastern Oregon, Idaho there, there's gonna be some activity. Also, along south of I-70 here, into Kansas and Oklahoma and Texas, gonna be pretty busy. Then, Friday. Notice we have a contrast. On Friday, there's very dry air west of the Divide, west of the Laramie Range, into the Great Basin. But there's darker green just along and east of the Divide. So what'll happen on Friday is right along that boundary between much drier air and the moisture, there'll be some active thunderstorms here from Montana to the eastern plains of Wyoming to the eastern plains of Colorado to western Kansas. So less thunderstorms tomorrow, more thunderstorms Friday. As we get into the weekend, it also gets warmer. These are the temperature anomalies by 3 p.m. Saturday, so it's going to be warming up. But by Sunday into Monday, look, the deeper moisture's back. So here's the next plume coming our way. As we get into Sunday, thunderstorm activity picks up again, and the dark blue will be an area where the thunderstorms, if you're under one, will generate a lot of rain. Now, it doesn't mean if you're green and blue here, you're guaranteed rain. What it means if you're under a shower or thunderstorm, you're going to get a good amount of rain. So that'll be with us starting Sunday, going into Monday and Tuesday. Then as we get beyond, 
Well, things get drier again by mid to late week and warmer. High pressure does expand. This is by noon Saturday. So that will lead to some heat. Coolness for this time of year in the Corn Belt and the Great Lakes. That coolness shifts more eastward. Well, we'll get some heat, some summer heat, building back into the Rockies and the Western High Plains. So temperatures today and tomorrow and Friday really won't be bad, but starting to get a little bit hotter by the weekend. Have yourself a good Wednesday. We'll see you tomorrow.